Hey, hey, we we on. I'm I'm sitting here with my people, Kaylin, and we was having a conversation, right? We was talking about stuff that people borrow and then they never give it back. And then and and the reason why this came up is because I was saying I was over at one of my people's houses last night, and this, and and she needed some money, right? And so. I loaned, I, I paid for whatever she needed, and then I went back. She was like, I'm going to pay you back. So she called and said she had the money, and I was like, cool. So I went over to the crib, and I knocked on the door and stuff, you know, and she comes to the door, lip poked out and shit. And I mean, I guess she had took a nap. I don't know. But then the money was sitting right there on the couch, right? And she sits back down. So I'm like, standing at the door like, oh, is that the money right there? Because she said, oh, yeah. And she takes it in her hand, and then she gives it to me in in the left hand. Like I'm holding with my right hand. <laughs> then gives it to me like reluctantly. Like like if, if this pause between this hand to this hand, he gonna say, "I'll oh, just keep it." You like, "Oh, cool. I, I, I don't, thank you." You know what I'm saying? Since <laughs> since you already True. gave it to me one time, right? So my point is this, or our point is this: Why would niggas ask you for money or whatever they want, money more so? They quick to be like, hey, can I borrow $20? Hey, can I borrow $50? Hey, I need help with this. Hey, uh, can you do this? Or can you loan and all that other shit? But then when it comes time to pay up, they asses be on some, uh, you damn near have to fight motherfuckers to get your money back and shit, man. It's like they be like, uh, oh, yeah, um, yeah, payday. Yeah, yeah, you said, yeah, you said Friday. You said, so it's Friday, man. Oh, yeah, damn. Um, I mean, I cashed my check and shit, but, you know, when I went to the bank, right? And the line was all on, man. So I mean, I probably I, I had that for you Monday though. <laughs> that's that bullshit, ain't it? And that's that bullshit that they be on. So it and that brought us to this. We was thinking about it and we was talking about it. Kane, daddy, tap, kill that nigga in the beginning of the movie because that nigga had borrowed some money from Tat, and Tat said, "Hey, nigga, we know you done been out the joint." Where that money at? We know you hear that money from the robber. And that nigga told him, I'll pay your monkey ass when I feel like it, motherfucker. That's some bullshit. He knew he owed Tat some money. And still, this nigga gonna tell Tat. And he knew Tat a damn fool. And when nigga pulled a gun out, he talking about, fuck that, squeeze that shit, squash that shit, man. I done did time in the joint. Nigga, they ain't got guns in the motherfucking joint. <laughs> this nigga in front of you with a goddamn gun. And you talking that stupid shit. All because you don't want to pay that nigga back his money. That motherfucker chose to die. Rather than pay a man his money. Y'all yeah. better get your damn... Pay your debts. Pay your bills. Pay your debts. Pay your bills. And then maybe your credit will get straight. I don't know. That's up to you. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's the same thing. Hell, you don't borrow money from the bank and don't want to pay them back. But most niggas do because that's what the fuck reason why... We in this housing crunch. And when I say niggas, for y'all ignorant motherfuckers that think that I'm talking about black people, I'm talking about all y'all motherfuckers that don't be paying your bills. <laughs> <laughs> ignorant motherfuckers. Because you know you borrowed that money. And you know you got to pay that shit back. You can't just be borrowing no damn money on no house or no car and keep driving the car around. Don't think the repo man going to come get his shit. Come on, <laughs> man. That's just not the way it works, is it? It's a give and it's a take. You inhale and you exhale. You got to give something, you got to take something back. You, ain't nothing just for fucking free. Only thing for free is nothing. <laughs> ain't nothing for free. That's the only thing you're going to get for free. It's nothing. It's true. So, you know, to end this out, things that you don't let people borrow unless you don't want it no more. <clears throat> and if you got something to chime in on, Kaylin, they can hear you. Feel free. I mean, she don't want to get on the camera because she don't want a man to see it. But <laughs> oh my god, things that, that you don't let no borrow borrow your books, DVDs, DVDs, CDs, CDs and clothes, clothes. Cause my cousin came over here and had my T-shirt on the other day. <laughs> I ain't joking. I said, "Damn, cuz that's my T-shirt." He's like, "Oh yeah." Oh yeah, yeah motherfuckers. And I ain't worrying about them seeing this because they ain't got the internet because they come over here and borrow my internet. See again. <laughs> they borrow some more shit that they can't pay back. I'm running out of time. I'm going to have to get off this, yo. 5150 K-Dub. You know what it is. It's how we doing it. Uh, it's 2.30 in the morning. Uh, peace. Peace.